Announcing your marriage when you're one of the most well-known celebrities in Korea takes a whole lot of courage. You sincerely hope for your fans to accept your relationship, and that was the case of Lee Sung-gi and Lee Da-in. But after their announcement, the dark truth about Da-in's parents' past started to unravel, and it put their relationship to a test. They announced that they are dating in May of 2021, five or six months after they met for the first time. Their relationship was a whirlwind romance because they announced their marriage not even two years later in February of 2023. Sungi broke the huge news through a statement on his social media. He wrote, She has a heart of gold and she's full of love. She is someone I want on my side forever. I would like to share my happiness and in turmoil, I would like to overcome it by holding her hand. Because of what their names mean in the entertainment industry and how successful both of the actors are, the internet went crazy. Sungi has been loved by the public for years due to always maintaining a positive image and engaging in frequent donations and charity events. Dayin has been recognized for her beauty and charming personality, as well as being the daughter of the legendary veteran actress Gyeon Miri. Understandably, it was a huge shock to everyone when the dirty secrets about Da In's family came to light. Da In's mother married her stepfather, a businessman called Lee Hong Hon, in 1998. Despite being her stepfather, the family felt close enough that both Da In and her sister Lee Yubi decided to legally take his name. The Lee family is known to netizens as being extravagant and with a a taste for luxury, which was frowned upon by some. The fact that Da In's stepfather was charged with stock manipulation and insider trading only worsened how the public perceived the family and ultimately Sung Gi's marriage to Da In. It's become a trend for Korean fans to send out protest trucks whenever they dislike their favorite artist's choices. One of Sung Gi's fans decided to hire one after the actor announced his marriage. The protest truck with a large display carrying the message Lee Da In's family had created too many victims was parked in Sungi's residential neighborhood. As the truck drove around the town, the messages on the display changed. The messages said, It's okay if you didn't know. We'll inform you now. They have created too many victims. Are you willing to destroy your 17-year-old career? A quick decision must be made. And, We have protected you for the past 17 years. It is now your turn to protect Aaron's. Aaron's is the name of Sungi's fandom, and protest trucks are a controversial part of the Korean entertainment industry, but it's scarce that this type of protest actually works. Lee Hong Han's first stock incident dates back to 2009, and he committed it again in 2016. According to reports, the businessman used Gyeon Miri's name and famous status to draw in investors who would invest in his company. After he knew he successfully recruited the investors, Hong Han then manipulated the stock prices by inflating the overall cost of the company's shares. This, of course, brought Hong Han and his investors a lot of money. After the massive gain, they decided to sell their shares of the company to cash in their profit, but it completely completely threw off the rest of the company's stockholders. Hong Han was sentenced to four years behind bars during his first trial in 2018, and he was also fined 2.5 billion Korean won. However, the appeal was overturned during the ruling of the first trial, and Hong Han ended up being acquitted in August of 2019. The court stated that Hong Han did not disclose any serious false information that could be considered a violation of regulations in the process of raising funds for a paid-in capital increase. Following his stock manipulation, various Korean media outlets reported that Hong Han gained around $2 million. Because of how famous the entire family is, the scandal blew up across the internet and put the family into the spotlight. When the controversy was at its peak, an anonymous netizen, who claimed to be related to one of the victims of Hong Han's stock manipulation, came forward and shared how it affected their family, as well as thousands of other people. Because of Hong Han's actions, the netizen's family fell into bankruptcy. Even though the netizen acknowledged that their family's investment was voluntary, Hong Han's actions were definitely the biggest reason why their family suffered. The netizen also claimed that Hong Han or Gyeon Miri never allegedly apologized to the victims or the public uproar they caused. According to the netizen, the family instead made themselves look like the victims and even went as far as to file lawsuits against the actual victims. It's alleged that the number of victims surpassed 350,000. Korean netizens flooded social media with their comments and not a lot of them were positive. Most of them sympathized with the victims and shamed Hong Han for his actions. A lot of netizens wished for Gyeon Miri and Da In to never appear on a public broadcast again, even though Da In has nothing to do with what happened. Neither does Sung Gi, but he faced a lot of criticism as well. A lot of people claimed it was quite ironic that Sung Gi was marrying into a scammer family when he himself was a victim of a similar thing. In December of 2022, Sung Gi decided to file a lawsuit against his agency Hook Entertainment for withholding his profits from music for around 18 years. The CEO was sued for occupational embezzlement and fraud 
fraud. With Sungi and Da In tying the knot in April of this year, Da In's family's past became the main topic again. The netizens also focused on Gion Miri, who reportedly donated the money from Sungi and Da In's wedding to an organization that helps disabled and vulnerable children. However, because of their past, any sign of Mary trying to clear her name backfires almost immediately. In February of 2023, she clarified her husband's controversy for the first time and shared that the accusations are different from the truth and that the court will reveal who's truly guilty. It was then reported that Miri allegedly donated the money to a foundation she herself created, but the rumors were then debunked by the CEO of Symbiosis Sympathy, the organization she donated to. Most people were angry that Sungi and Dayin had a beautiful and public wedding because according to netizens, they should be shamefully living in the shadows. A few days after the wedding, Sungi shared a very long post on his Instagram where he shared tons of details about the rumors that were circulating in the media at that time. He denied the claims about Hong Han embezzling over $2 million, adding that the reports about there being more than 300,000 victims are misinformation. Furthermore, he revealed that Dain's parents filed a legal complaint against five Korean media outlets that often reported the news. The Press Arbitration Commission received the complaint and ordered the media outlets to release a correction report. Miri never had any connection to the stock manipulation that happened in 2016, according to Sung Gi, and there is no proof of her being an accomplice in the 2016 case. There's also allegedly no proof that 300,000 people were affected by the controversy and that all of the requests for compensation that were filed against Hong Hon by the stockholders were dismissed. Sung Gi was also briefly accused of receiving sponsored products for his wedding and on his Instagram, he stated that he never received any sponsorship from any brand. The actor shamed the reporters for not even trying to reach out to him to fact check their articles before they posted them. Sung Gi also exposed his former agency, Hook Entertainment, for trying to control him by using Da In's family controversy as the subject. Surprisingly, he revealed that even his friends were against his marriage because they were afraid it would taint his image, and at that time, he felt very frustrated that he didn't have their support. Sungi wrote, My wife did not choose her parents, and so how could I ask to break due to her parents' issues? He also touched on the congratulatory money they received at their wedding and clarified that they would use those to support children in need to repay the kindness. Sungi acknowledged that his Instagram post would become the subject of malicious articles because of people who love to nitpick at his words. As for the reason why he decided to come forward and speak about it publicly, he shared, But the reason I took the courage to write this is that it was so difficult due to the negative and slandering articles that came out, starting from the dating news to the wedding even now, five days after getting married. Seeing how the public was against his marriage, Sungi became discouraged, looking at the malicious comments which fueled the fake news even more. At last, he addressed the public by writing, I won't ask you to congratulate my marriage, but please look over it. I will share my life with Lee Da-in. I think that is the best I can do. Hong Han's stock scandal is currently still being handled by the court, and hopefully the real truth will come to light. Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and thank you for watching.